Madam President, I want everyone within the sound of my voice, as well as my colleagues on the other side of the Capitol, to know that the Senate will not pass another temporary farm bill extension. It's time for real reform that protects both rural farm communities and urban families who need help feeding their children. If the Speaker took up the Senate's bipartisan measure, it would easily pass the House with both Republican and Democratic votes. There's no shame in passing a bill that moderates from both parties support. We've seen time and time again that the Tea Party's my way or the highway approach to legislating doesn't work. The only way to pass a bill in either the House or the Senate is to do so with votes from both Democrats and Republicans. The Senate Farm Bill passed with 66 votes in this chamber. It was a perfect example of a bipartisan bill. The Speaker should now allow a vote on this measure in the House now, today. 